outsmarted you, outsmarted you, outsmarted you, and outsmarted them with death. Speaking of death, there we go. Look at this one. I wonder if I can. I have to try. This is a great game. Welcome back. I am a friendly pest, and today I'm playing Survive. Playing on an Oculus Quest 2, streaming this game from my PC over virtual desktop, and I'm playing the tutorial today. I'm playing this because Spike wants to play it co op. My buddy Spike, check out his channel. My name is Spike. A lot of really cool VR content there. Uh, just recently finished his playthrough of Into the Radius. So if you want to see uh, a unique first time experience of someone playing through that game, Beginning to end without spoilers, that's your guy. Uh, he's also putting out some stuff on Half-Life Alex these days, and then a variety of smaller games as well. We're going to be playing this together, but for now I'm doing the tutorial. So let's go. Let's see what this is about. This is some kind of co-op zombie game. So that's all I needed to know, really, to agree to play it. Co-op and zombies, I'm in. Things were actually a little... Oh, noise. Infection Day 407, Chapter Zero, Prologue, Tutorial. Let's go. Let's play the game. Okay. Not bad. Better than I expected already. We don't have any weapons. My holsters are a bit low, but I can probably adjust that somehow. Look at this. Wow, that's a... Uh, let's go. So 400 and some days, lights on the school bus still works. You know what I mean? That's a dang good battery, bro. Look at this. It's creepy. Can you climb the guardrail? Seemingly no. Really? Life goes on. Everything moves pretty well. Sprint, thumbstick, any direction. Yeah, we can do that. If you're hearing this message, please answer the radio. I need help. I don't know how to answer the radio. Oh. Iteration number eight, nine, three, four, four. This is an all-frequency message. My name is Jeremy Stanford. I'm a biochemical military researcher, and I'm working on a vaccine against a mutated C. Dorna virus, commonly known as B1B3. If you're hearing this message, please answer the radio. I need help. We'll see. All right, press group button to grab the radio. Oh, God. Thanks for replying. I wasn't expecting that anymore, but I sure was hoping somebody was out there. My name is Jeremy Stanford, and I'm a biochemical military researcher. Pleased to meet you. Fuck! From what I see, your signal comes from Santa Carla? You're well in the middle of a fucking hell. Useful because of this, though. Well, I'll get straight to the point. I'm working on a vaccine against the B1V3 virus, but I need help. <sighs> Judging from where you are, you have a problem, too. Let's help each other. I'll pull you out of that mess, and while reaching me at the hospital where I work, you'll help me recover some items from Santa Carla, if you're okay with it. You can take the radio and stick it on the left shoulder strap of your backpack so we can communicate freely. Look at all the lights and power everywhere. These nice clean bottles of water. Handy saw for sawing things. Surprised that the game doesn't have more music.
getting like major uh, Arizona sunshine vibes from it. Oh. But you know what? This is not bad. Not bad at all. Having a pretty good time with it. In general, everything's working pretty well. We are approaching Santa Carla. You know, survivors usually tend to stay away from urban centers. The few who approach them do so to look for food on their lost loved ones. <sighs> At least half of them don't even survive the first day. Outsmarted you. Outsmarted you. Outsmarted you. And I outsmarted them with death. Speaking of death, there we go. Let's look at this one. I wonder if I can. I have to try. This is a great game. Okay, another important thing. If you're injured, you can cure yourself with that first aid kit. Try it. I suggest you always bring one with you. It may come in handy. Hell yeah! What's going on up here? Was that the chomping animation? You have a durable dome. Ooh, newspapers. Will humanity survive? No. No, regardless of the virus, they're not going to make it. The virus might accelerate the process. Humans are not going to make it, bro. Me and my old friend the pistol here are getting along just fine. Yet? You can carry items and ammo. Store them bringing your arm behind your head. Go on, try it. Follow the sign to try. Hang on, I got to... Dang it, dang it. Okay. All right, let's see. Well, I mean, this is great, but... It must just be how you get stuff out. It is. Okay, not everything will go. And then when I want stuff, I do this. Understood. Man, we are doing just fine. We are doing just fine. We are not having any problems at all with these zombies. Okay, from here on out, you're gonna find more and more walkers roaming around. Be careful, make sure you always have your weapon loaded. Well, you guys can stay over there. I'll just go this way. <laughs> Spot 
splitting some fucking heads with an axe or a baseball bat can be so satisfying. You can carry up to two weapons at a time behind your back. Look at the sign and try it. Oh, I forgot. Be careful. Weapons can break after using them for a while. Any other tips? Okay. The melee is not great. But to be honest, I expected that. <laughs> Outsmarted you. Give me that. Hush. Some places you have to lower yourself to get through some passages. After all, those bastards just won't overcome certain obstacles. So keep that in mind. The melee is awful. Just terrible. Just terrible. <sighs> to force the locks on closed doors, you can use a drill. Plant it in the lock and drill until the door opens. That's clever. So if you die, you can be stuck in here. And then the other survivor's got to come get you. That's a pretty cool mechanic. There's a lot to like here. I think it would be much more fun co-op. Everything is, though. If you run out of ammo, you're dead. So always keep your eyes open. Abandoned houses and cars are the first place to search. Unless they were already looted by some other survivor. Nice. Dang, it's getting busy out here. You be quiet. Shooting left-handed. Two guns in the holsters on your legs. Try putting one of those guns in the holster. Since you're at it, try doing it quickly. It will be crucial later on. Okay. All right. Let's go. Where am I supposed to go? Over there?
That roadblock is infested with those damn fucking walkers. Facing them is way too dangerous. So take one of those zombie stew cans and pour that shit all over you. In order to blend in among them and, and go around, they won't notice you that. Watch out though. Remember to turn off your weapon lights. Try not to make any noise. Or they'll spot you. I gotta shamble super slow when I'm in zombie disguise mode. Try to look like one of them. If you manage to get to the other side, close the fucking gate behind you. Good luck. Like, I love this. Be quiet. The radio is constantly making noise. Where did you step? Let me through. Attention. Protocol quarantine failure. Zombie push button by accident. Leave me alone, bro. It's going to take so long to get over there. I'm doing good. I'm probably hamming it up a little more than I need to. Oh, that gate's broke. That's going to be a problem. tutorial man do I have to shamble all the way there it's gonna take forever it's working though Open to unlock. Need to respawn point. I'm gonna need that drill. Oh man, we are going slow. Shush you. That one's faster. Good to know, some of them can move. There wasn't anything else in here. I'll waste of time. A little over a year has passed since the first recorded case of infection caused by the V1V3 virus. But look at the shit we're in now. After such a short time. Wow, that one's moving. Soon, you're gonna arrive in the industrial area. Be careful. There's a high concentration of fucking walkers in there. You'll need something more powerful than a gun. Take that rifle, load the shot in the barrel, and get ready to blow a lot of heads up. Not bad. It's got a flashlight. We've got more than we got four of them because of course there's supposed to be four people playing the game, right? Let's go. Okay, I'm ready to get to the end of this tutorial. This has been a long tutorial. In the 
belt, you can carry up to three magazines for your primary weapon. Try to aim at the head, don't waste your shots, and run out quickly. Spare magazine's probably worth more than an extra gun, to be honest. Almost all weapons have a switch for changing fire mode between single shot or burst. Sometimes precision will be needed. Other times, you'll have to use all your firepower. So, follow the instructions on how to switch, okay? That's a little tricky to switch. You gotta like hold the analog and then click the analog and hold that position. Shit! It's full of motherfuckers! Be careful, I have a bad feeling about this. Fuck, 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 I knew it! Take out all those bastards, shoot those fucking heads! Okay. We did good. Some of the fast movers with armored helmets could take some serious damage. And in general, I don't feel particularly threatened. Overall, though, not bad. I'm having a pretty good time. Everything works reasonably well. Fast movers could be a problem. Okay. I'm up against my guardian. Here we go. I outsmarted you. I'm not finding any ammo in these cars. I don't know what it's talking about. Some of them are moving pretty quick. Straight on. You're almost there in Santa Carla. So pay close attention from now on. You're gonna find the road blocked soon. On the right, you'll see a military building. Enter it. Okay, this is a long tutorial. This is a super long tutorial. Fuck! You made me shit myself, but you did it! Good job! Ah. Huh. I did it. 
Apparently I did it. Chapter Zero, How to Survive. This is a long tutorial. Do you copy? This is where the fun begins. Perfect. In the next room, there's the armory with all you need. I'll open the door for you. Good. Oh, dang. You're almost ready to blow some heads up. Yeah. Now let's check the accessories. Gun sights, lasers, special ammo, and other house specials. To mount them, you need to learn first how to do it. It's not a thing a biochemical can teach you. Around the city, you'll find some magazines about weapons. I'll show you with a white circle on the map where to find them. You can keep those so you can read them later, okay? Let's try this out. Take that magazine on the table, put it in the backpack. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, the magazine. Not the magazine. Now try mounting one of those tactical sub-barrel lights you see. Much better this way. Okay, you know how to do it now. In your backpack, you should be able to carry all... Perfect, just one last tip. Firearms make a lot of noise and can attract other zombies. So bows and arrows can be quite useful in a few occasions. Take a quiver with arrows and put it in your backpack. All you have to do is just bring it to your backpack and wait a bit. Um. Okay, now take a bow and try to use it. An important tip, if you want to take the arrows quickly from the backpack without having to open it every time, press and hold the trigger of the controller holding the bow. While holding it, bring the other controller close to your backpack. Then you just have to press the trigger, as indicated in the sign. Congratulations! You successfully completed the mini course to become a zombie killing motherfucker. <laughs> it's gonna be a hell out there. Let's begin. This is a weird tutorial. It feels like it was like hodgepodge together from like several other tutorials. Chapter 1. Bad Santa. Okay. Alright. We made it through the tutorial. As promised, I'm glad I did that. I'm getting ready to hear some dialogue, no doubt. Man, it's letting me leave surprisingly well-armed. Like, I don't even know. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Uh, wow, look at all this. Like, there's, It's crazy. Like... I'm shocked the game's letting me start off this way. That probably won't last. We'll wrap this up. This has been a long video for a tutorial. Um, this has been the tutorial for Survive. Uh, playing this because I'm going to be playing this game co-op with Spike from the My Name is Spike YouTube channel, as I mentioned before. Link in the description. Check out his stuff. Uh, we're going to play this together, and then we're going to make content for it. And it's going to be a good time because it feels like it's going to be a good game. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick look at the tutorial. I'll try to edit it into something a little faster than it actually took me to play because it took a long time. Um, and I'm not exactly sure when this video is going up. But whenever you find this video, hopefully it finds you well. Hopefully you're having a good week. Hopefully you got some fun weekend plans. Hopefully you're spending your free time with the people you want to spend your free time with. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this tiny channel. Have a nice day.